here in Cocoa Beach. Now we've transi transitioned from ground power to the vehicle's own internal power. I mean, we are getting close. Ariel, <laughs> hold my hand. <laughs> I'm getting really excited. <laughs> there are those BE4s, seven of them, ready to take new, or new Glenn. <sighs> 3.85 million pounds of thrust combined. Three seconds. In just 60 Rain seconds green, here, as mentioned before, we will, we will light four of the engines, then three of the engines, just about a second or two off for a staggered start. You'll see the big water deluge, and that's when you know that it's game on. I love hearing all those sounds. You hear the power up. You certainly do. And with that, you'll see that water any second now. Let's turn it over seconds. to launch control. Let's go, New Glenn. GS-1 hydraulics internal. Never tell GS1 me the odds. Level. GS-2 at flight level. Autopilot enabled. <gasps> T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Separately, of course, we will get the second stage off and going with the NASA SDK satellites the on board on their way to Mars. Trajectory continues to look good, seeing good data quality coming down from the vehicle. Body rate response Great to hear nominal. that good data quality. All seven engines continue Looking to look nominal. Good. Next up, Miko, which is main engine cutoff. The cheers are real. You can hear them all the way in here. And we have Miko. <gasps> and we have Miko. And we have good stage set. We have good stage separation. Okay. And we have ignition on stage two. Both engine parameters look good. Ignition. Oh, you see the two rockets there. Body rate stamping out nicely.
Both BPU engines look good at uh, high thrust set point. Body rate responses look good. Three minutes, 43 Love seconds into flight. Shot. Look at that view. We have good indication of payload fairing jettison. Both B3U oh, engines great. continue to look good. Fairing Body rate response is normal. Seeing good data coming down from both stages. Great data. We're four minutes into NG2. And you saw the spectacular view from look good. down Body from our GS2. Response continue to look good. The nine and a half minute burn for GS2. Four minutes, 25 seconds there. into flight. All right, at nine minutes is when we're expecting the first stage to touch down on Jacqueline. Nine minutes. Approximately two minutes remaining in the GS-1 coast. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us for NG-2. So far, a nominal mission. GS-2 is now 320 kilometers downrange. Traveling at 2.8 kilometers per second. Trajectory we had continues to look good on both burn, stages. Clean separation, clean fairing. Right down the middle of the range track. Engine operating parameters on GS2 look good. Five it sounds minutes, like our GS2 is having a beautiful ride. The as, the NASA escapade satellites are GS1 exposed to space now right now. And we've got. GS-1 coming down for landing GS2 body at T plus nine minutes. One minute remaining in the GS-1 coast. Continue to see good data coming down from both GS-1 and GS-2. Body rates on both stages look good. The three U engines look good. Everything looking good, looking nominal. Seeing good TVC and MR on this moment coming GS2. up is an important one. Trajectory it is. We're going to, look good. to we're going to relight the BE4 engines for the reentry burn. Body rate snowing out on GS1. The exo turn is complete. There you go. It's about three hundred thousand feet. Less than 100 Six kilometers up there, the coming flight. in for a landing on the Jacqueline, 375 miles offshore, waiting for the first time to land and Blue Origin's new Glenn booster shortly. on the Jacqueline. Continue to see body rates on GS1. That looks great. We have our booster reentry burn. All, all three engines. No matter what happens next, we have had a good day. This is further than we made it on NG1. That's right. The indication of engine ignition on GS1. Continue to see good data from GS1. About a minute and a half. Engine parameters look good. Is when we would see. Confirm engine cut off. Never tell me the odds. Return to Earth. You Seven see it in kind of that horizontal position. We've got the streaks on the base of the booster, which give it lift. So right. we can basically fly this booster. Of course, we're using the forward fins as well, plus uh, some of our reaction control system. To, uh, as well as the gimbling on the BD4 engines to turn the rocket the accordingly. On here, it starts to tilt GS1 down. Now halfway One minute to go. GS1 Less than 40,000 feet. To look good. GS2 throttle down complete. Responses look good. Eight minutes, 20 seconds from the flight. Landing burning mission, and we have landing burning mission. See three good engines. We've got our booster landing burn. Engine 
control. Let's go. Of course those cones are there. Eight minutes, 43 seconds. Flake deployed. Now down to the shot from our booster. Standing back for touch.